I grew up in Venezuela and I came to the United States when I was 14 years old and I had a really hard time adjusting to life here in the U.S. The one thing that kept me sane throughout my very difficult high school years and what gave me hope and a sense of purpose was music. And so Nyla When you enter schools here in Union City, I began to look for activities for you, but I began to realize how expensive extracurricular activities were for kids and how most families in this area did not have the means or the access to those opportunities. And so in 2012, we founded United Children Music Project to provide very low-cost music education to the children here in Union City. The first thing I remember at UCMP is building our paper instruments from scratch. They are used to simulate using a real instrument. The fun thing is that you get to customize your own instrument and you get to care for it and practice on it. Our conductor guided us to be able to play the real instruments very well. I now play the cello and I play some percussion. It really has been a life-changing experience to have the ability to see kids year to year progress from holding their paper instrument to then seeing them realize that they can make music. I mean, to know that if you try harder, you will sound better. It transfers into life as well. We're using music as a vehicle, but really what we're trying to do is help our children to grow and reach their full potential. It is so rewarding when you work so hard and in the concerts when you hear your music and it's so beautiful to play it together as a group. During the pandemic, we still were able to continue classes. I think that's amazing that we have been able to still connect with music. I feel very lucky to be able to progress even though we can't be with our teachers. Everything we do is about the group experience, the community. And that's why it feels like a family. That is the type of bond that gets created all the way until students finish high school. It's been a beautiful nine years with them.